Welcome back to Afternoon Express. This is definitely my favorite part of the show because I can, can connect with you and we yes. get to chat, we get to eat all this glorious and food. I can feel the aura. Oh, yeah. you can. I've the got connection, can you feel like that? Absolutely. Yes. But you know Sorry, what, guys. But you know what the connection <laughs> that I can feel is? Is that you did promise us a little song. Guys, who said I'm a singer? <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll sing you Jingle Bells just when I yes. ask you to have dessert. Yes. Before yes. dessert. I'll start dishing dessert while you sing. Yeah. No, we can't start with dessert. Dun, dun, of course dun, you can. Dun, 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 what? Dun, dun, I wasn't taught that at home. Okay, 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 you're the guest. We all follow your no. rules. I started the meat and then I have dessert right, later. Okay. Can I tell what? you, I've okay. even sung on the show really? a few times. I mean, we probably lost loads of Was it karaoke nights? No, it was disaster night. But you aren't shy. I believe you used to be a pageant boy when you were little. I was, that was a long time ago. I actually, it was back in 1997, I remember. Yeah. Um, it was a church, I mean, I grew up at home with my grandmother, so yeah. every Sunday, it was not negotiable. We're going to church, all of us. Yeah. So I remember this one time, there was going to be a pageant at church, and she said, you're entering. I thought, hmm? Yes. Oh, and turn, yes that's and I think it was Mr. Sunday School. <laughs> I was only eight, turning nine. Yeah. Well, so. there's a little pic of Mr. Sunday School. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look oh, at and, that yeah. face. It looks like I didn't want to have that cake. <laughs> I don't know so why I had a fork on the cake, by the way. Yeah, it was probably my grandmother screaming, me. don't disappoint me! <laughs> but anyway, that's the only pageant I entered, and it was Mr. Sunday School, and yeah, I think I won. Yeah, I actually won. Of course you did. You. But you are very vocal about, like, the incredible woman that raised you. Yes, yes. What a gift. What, what a gift. gift so to be given that. I lost my biological mother when I was um, seven, turning eight, seven. you know, in a car accident, so being raised by my grandmother and also I think with growth I've, I've grown to appreciate where I'm coming from, I've grown to appreciate coming from the trans guy, yeah. uh, being raised under the circumstances. I, I always make it a point that I mentioned that I didn't grow up poor, I yeah. also didn't grow up rich. Yeah. We grew up in a normal household. It's important to say these things. Yeah. Because when I was a kid I didn't see anything wrong with how I was raised. Do you get that? Yeah. Sure. Until you grow and you're old and you're like, actually we didn't have much. But more than anything, we're, we're taught self-love, uh, values of oh, respect, wow. yeah. um, respecting people, honoring people, God as well. So those have basically kept me going, um, you know, even in the most difficult moments of my life as you're growing, yeah. uh, be it in, you know, career-wise. Personally, you know, you always reflect back and think, what was I taught? What did grandma say? You know, yeah. things like mentioning, mm. uh, you know, prayer and, and, and whatnot when, before you go to sleep, don't forget your prayers. And, and, but more than anything, it's self-worth and self-value. Yeah. You know, my grandmother didn't have much, but what she taught us is you must always remember that you standing or being put against a person who's coming from a fortunate family, a well-off family, doesn't, you know, doesn't discredit you. Yeah. You know, by virtue of being yourself and being here today, you know, you are rich enough, you know, and what's inside is always more important than Exactly. Materialistic things. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so, well so unfortunately, yeah. we're later to rest in in 2012. And um, but I, I think wherever I go, I could continue to echo um, echo her her teachings and what she, she was about. Yeah. I carry a presence where I go. And yeah, it's coming from a beautiful place. So, oh, so everything so I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're no, terrible. No, can I tell you because everything I am is because of my grandmother. So yeah. I absolutely understand. Grandmothers are the best. Everything that you said, I know exactly what that oh. feels like. And you know what? How blessed I'm are we? I'm sorry to for that making day. you cry. No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm happy. Yeah. Those are happy tears. Yes. You're such a beautiful man. We are so so, so privileged to have you with thank us today. You. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, thank you for preparing this amazing meal. Now I don't need a make reservation. <laughs> Why not? Thank you guys. We love you so much and we love you for joining us. We are of course off air tomorrow due to the cricket so the protein is better. We'll catch you again on Thursday. Happy eating. <laughs> Good night. God bless. Bye. Bye.